Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of November 2020. All right, Scorpios, we're starting off with the Queen of Swords. I see you guys very methodical, really thinking things out. For some of you guys, this could be in representation of uh, being analytical in the sense of I see you guys making plans towards the future or towards achieving a goal. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, there may be some type of delays for some of you guys. Uh, this could represent, again, being methodical, uh, taking taking certain paths or certain um, changes that you make in order to either keep you from spending or overspending, I should say. I see you guys really counting your money, and I feel that this is because for some of you guys, you're preparing uh, for some type of manifestation. Now, you do have the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, so I definitely see you guys transitioning. For some of you guys, it could have been a situation where you had already made up your mind. There was a decision that was already made. You kind of backtracked uh, because you were, again, there was a need for you to really analyze the situation. For some of you guys, it could have been that you're in the process or will be going through a process of either purchasing your first home, as we do have the Ace of Pentacles here with the doorway. Uh, for others of you, this could be uh, some type of investment. For some of you guys, it could be trying to start your own business. Um, or just simply trying to uh, be more careful in the way you spend money. And I think this is a positive thing. Why? Because with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, what, to, what they're telling you here is that this is the best route to take. Not rush into purchasing anything that is, you know, for some of you guys, it doesn't necessarily have to be a home. For some of you guys, it could be purchasing a car. It could be something that is going to be or take some type of expense. Um, but what they're telling you is don't be quick in making that decision. Why? Because you're going to get to a point of having um, not only the opportunity to purchase what you're wanting, but to be actually getting exactly what it is that you want versus what others think you uh, can achieve or can afford. Uh, so again, be patient in this process. For some of you guys, it could be that in November, you're really working hard towards um, investing in yourself. So this could be like uh, really being mindful about your spending because you're trying to bump your credit. For others of you, it could represent just trying to stack your money. For others of you, it could just represent, again, making a major purchase like that of a home or changing residency, which I see changing residency very highly for you guys from now all the way to uh, December, even January with the two of wands here. Now, we also do have the Ace of Cups and the High Priestess. So, wow, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so what they're saying here is for some of you guys, um, you have two Aces. So there's major changes that are coming to you that are going to be unfolding in this month of November. And one of them, what they're showing me here is if you're currently dealing with a person that is from far, meaning if your partner doesn't live in the same city or in the same country that you live in, there may be unexpected news that is going to start to unfold in regards to things that he or she have not been completely honest or transparent with you about. What they're telling you here is listen to your intuition and pay attention to that. If you're feeling like something is off, more than likely it is off and you need to come to the table and be completely honest and transparent. Why? It's not necessarily showing me you know, things that are being done in the hidden. Um, this is more to do with how you're feeling or when you get certain news that comes to you. It could be misinterpreted in a certain way. So again, be honest and transparent. You have the strength card here with the king of pentacles. So very, very strongly, uh, very confident. I see you guys very motivated. Keep in mind, we do have Pluto's return. So you guys are going to be very empowered. There's a lot of transformations. There's a lot of changes that are happening, um, especially when we really delve into our subconscious. Uh, so these are things of, of manifesting things that you've been wanting to manifest for quite a while. I see stability very highlighted for you guys. So I think that the month of November 
going into even December is going to be very prominent for you guys when we're talking about money. Um, because it's almost as if it's going to come very easy to you. And again, it could be the influence of Pluto. So very, very pot. Here we go. <laughs> that was the card I was missing, but I was definitely being told that uh, in regards to money, things are going to be unfolding uh, for you guys, manifesting very quickly. If you recently started a business or the business hasn't been going very good, that's quickly going to give you a turnaround. You have the Wheel of Fortune here, so your luck is definitely about to change. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, do not be surprised if someone out of nowhere comes to you and you guys just click and you hit it off automatically. Why? Because, again, with the Ace of Cups here, and the wheel of fortune it's like the universe is conspiring to bring to you uh the people the situations and circumstances that are going to lead you uh to be able to live or manifest the life that you've been wanting for quite a while scorpio so really take on this energy and uh, empower yourself with it and take charge you guys know how to do that so definitely make things happen do not sit it out if there's an opportunity that comes to you don't wait for things to unfold. Seize the moment. Now is the time to do so. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.